Hey guys, welcome back to the Mimidu channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're working on the M3 again, so stay tuned. <laughs> So guys, the last time I left you guys, uh, I was working on the M3, and uh, you guys noticed that we had an alternator issue, um, an alternator charging issue. Uh, I since have done a few tests, and I have confirmed that it is the alternator. If you guys haven't seen it, guys check out my daily transmission number two. Uh, we did the battery test. Turned out the battery was okay, the alternator was at fault. I took a couple days off from working on the M3 and actually pulled the alternator out. So rather than um, actually replacing the alternator, I felt it was probably a better idea because I like to kind of keep this car with some of the original parts. Um, I felt it was a, a, probably a good, good use of money to actually um, rebuild the old alternator. So uh, what you guys can see here is I have the alternator pulled out and the alternator is no longer there. It also gives me kind of a good idea and uh, I to see how dirty things are. I might actually be replacing out this um, alternator tensioner here, I don't really know. Uh, I'm going to clean things up a little bit later while the alternator is getting fixed and uh, I'll determine that later on. But uh, for now, I've got the alternator pulled out. There is a local alternator repair the rebuild shop around the corner from me. Uh, they're going to charge me about 80 bucks to 100 bucks to actually rebuild this. So um, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get it to them. and. Um, We'll, uh, we'll get, uh, get around to this uh, tomorrow. So guys, uh, I just got to Auto Electric, um, MFG. Uh, they work on alternators, so I'm gonna drop off the M3 alternator. They're gonna let me give me a call in about 30, 45 minutes to let me know what they can do for it, if they can fix it or not. It's free of charge. So it's really kind of a win-win here. Uh, buying a brand new alternator would actually cost me over $150, and I don't wanna spend that. So uh, gonna drop it off, and uh, we're gonna get on to the rest of the day. So while running the errands I had to take care of for the day, I got a call from my buddy Lloyd. He picked up one of those siphoning oil pump change things from Arbor Freight for about 80 bucks and it allows you to change your oil without actually getting underneath the car. I had to test this out and since it was about time for me to do an oil change in the Mini Cooper, I couldn't miss this opportunity to use it. Plus, he's going to do oil change for me. So let's go ahead and get over there so we can check it out and maybe get one for ourselves. And we're here. <laughs> And this here is my main dude Lloyd. He's been my best friend for over 20 years and he is a certified tech for Porsche, BMW, you name it. If a tie-in, he probably worked on it. I give him a call anytime I get into a bind and he's never steered me wrong. That works. Oh shit.
Hey guys, welcome back. It is the next day and we picked up the alternator about three hours ago. Came home, had a little bit of work to do. It's getting, it's actually still hot outside, so I'm not gonna let it deter me. We're gonna get this thing installed today, but I wanted to show you guys the level of quality that I was able to pick up for the price tag of about a hundred bucks. As you guys can see, they took my old dirty alternator. I don't know if you guys remember how it looked, but this thing has been uh, ceramic coated. Uh, they replaced the back end of it. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, re uh, with uh, actually repairing alternators. In my experience, I haven't been able to fix them every single time. So to pay $100 for someone to repair it properly, um, to test it properly, and to give it a year warranty for $100, it's a deal you really just can't beat. So um, I feel really good about this. Uh, we're gonna get this thing installed in the car. And uh, if you guys uh, want some information on who I had to fix this, if you're in the Houston area, the Sugarland area, they work on more than just BMW alternators. So you can have your alternator fixed by them. I'll leave some information for them down in the description down below if you guys want to check them out. So guys, uh, I spent a little bit of time uh, actually cleaning up the engine bay. You never really just realize how much grease and grime is actually built up over time. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time since the alternator looks so good. I'm going to spend some time and try to clean this up. I have some uh, orange cleaner here, some uh, awesome orange cleaner, and I'm going to try to clean up the engine bay in that area at least the best I can and I'm probably at some point gonna have to take some take a pressure washer to this thing and just sent and just blast it down and clean it up best I can but for now uh, I'll do it by hand if I can find an old toothbrush I'll use that being that it's October now uh, Oktoberfest is right around the corner and uh, I don't want to miss out I seem to miss out every single year and uh, I don't want to mess out anymore. So I want to get this thing on the road and uh, all I can do that is if I can get started now. If you guys aren't familiar with this stuff, let me see if I can get to focus here. Uh, this awesome orange cleaner, this stuff is great. I get it at the dollar store and it's it's actually concentrated. So I'm not gonna actually dilute it. I haven't been diluting it, it works just fine. Just don't inhale it, not good for you. <music> it up I got the alternator installed uh, only thing left to do is to get the battery connected and to turn it back on so uh, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go ahead and check to make sure that the alternator is charging the battery if we have anything over 13.7 volts I believe then we should be in good shape so let's do that and let's turn it on okay So far, so good. Now, if you guys can see that there, we're at 14.1 volts. So 
So that's success, guys. All right. So guys, that about wraps it up. Uh, I installed the alternator, you guys saw, it was at a consistent 14 to 14.1 volts consistently with the car at idle. So uh, next on the agenda, guys, uh, I have some, um, some very slow oil leaks. I have a valve cover leak, and I have a oil filter housing leak. It's actually coming from the, oil, the Vanos oil feed line, so I just received that. It came in the mail today. Uh, I'm gonna be installing that at a later time. Probably do it when I do the uh, valve cover gasket, so you guys look out for that video. Uh, thank you guys for watching the Media channel. Hit that like and subscribe button, hit that alert button. Want to be alerted for more videos. So until next time, guys, peace out and Godspeed.